what is going on all of you growers and smokers out there easy breezy here coming back for another tutorial video and today ladies and gentlemen we are going to be making some self-healing injector port lids it's very easy and very simple and if you like content just like this be sure to like comment and subscribe for weekly content so without further ado ladies and gentlemen let's get into the video Let's go ahead and get into some of the tools that we're gonna need. So first off, we got our drill bits here. We got a half inch and a quarter inch here. And these sizes will be dependent on you, whatever size you wish to make for your injection port holes and your O2 exchange holes. And of course, we're also gonna need ourselves a drill gun to drill them holes. Next, let's go ahead and talk about what we're gonna use for our injection port. So we have two methods here. Here we have a seal and here we have a injection port cap here now in this tutorial we're not going to be using one of these because these can take um a week or two to get to uh for delivery uh, it's not something that's very common that you can just drive down to the store however red high temp rtv silicone instant gasket is very accessible for uh the most common people and i'm sorry if you hear uh breezy going to town on his food right now uh this stuff you can find in Walmart, uh, any uh, automotive store, or um, I think even most uh, like uh, hardware stores like Lowe's and Home Depot also sell stuff like these. The temp or the uh, color doesn't matter. They make different colors, red, uh, black, uh, white, I believe. The color itself doesn't matter. Just make sure you get the high temp RTV silicone instant gasket. Okay. So next, let's go ahead and talk about our... Uh, filter for our O2 exchange holes. So we have two options here. One of them is a 0.3 micron filter sticker and these you could buy right online and uh, they usually cost like 10 bucks I think for 32 of them at least and uh, like I said the problem with these is you are going to be waiting for them for yeah about a week or so before they come in the mail. So a alternative if you want to get started right away is just using this cloth tape that you could buy in the medical aisle at um, like Walmarts or anything like that. They're very nice. They are very porous, just small enough to let uh, gases through and contams out. So it's a very good choice uh, and a cheap choice actually. I think you can get two rolls of these for $3. So uh, it's well worth using uh, the, uh, the tape itself, the cloth tape. And lastly, a roll of paper towels or a washcloth itself is also um, something that's actually pretty required to have and you'll see why a little bit later on in this video. So now we got everything that we need to start this. Let's go ahead and mess proof our setup here. Let's go ahead and just make a uh, double layer of paper towels down here. That way we don't make any messes. Next we can take a clear lid here, plain Jane lid and drill a half inch hole into one side and a quarter inch hole into the other side using our drill gun. Perfect. Now this next step here is optional. If you have any jagged or rough edges, you can go ahead and use a Dremel tool here to go ahead and sand all them rough edges down, which I will be doing for this video, but you don't have to. It's completely fine if you have some jagged edges, uh, they'll cover up just fine. So now that these have been sanded down very nicely, we can go ahead and add some micro pore tape to our oxygen holes here. So I'm going to use just our regular tape. I'm not going to use the stickers. Go ahead and break a piece off and cover it as flat as you can. And I really try to press hard all around the area here to get as flat of a surface as I can on it. So it sticks really good. And I like to go ahead and use two layers on this here as a little bit of an extra precaution. Now again, you can use these stickers if you wish, but that's something that will take some time to reach you. Here we go, very nice looking. So now that we have our micro pore tape on, we could go ahead and add our red high temp RTV silicone instant gasket to the mix. And to do this is actually a lot easier than people think. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves a damp paper towel to place underneath our lid here. And this will help keep 
keeping the uh, silicone from sticking to the paper towel underneath. And we can grab ourselves a second moist paper towel and set it off to the side. Go ahead and open up our tube here. And we can add a dollop to the middle. The absolute middle. And kind of go around in a clockwise manner so you have this. Let me, let me zoom in for you a little bit here. So it completely covers the area. And then just like you work at Dairy Queen. We'll give it a little a little Hershey kiss right on top. Now we're going to let it sit like that for five minutes. We're not going to touch it. We're just going to sit here and wait for five minutes. All right, so about five minutes now have passed. And these next few steps are pretty important. So you might want to follow them in this specific order. So we got our wet paper towel here, just our damp, nothing, it's not soaking, not dripping or anything like that water. We can carefully pick up our lid here and inspect both sides here. If I can lift this up for you, you can see here we have a nice dollop that is formed on the bottom side as well as a nice one on top. We can use our paper towel here, getting kind of close up and personal very very lightly let's use that other side here very very lightly lightly press down to flatten the top very very carefully almost like that you can see how flat it's getting let's go ahead and make it a little more flat just very carefully applying pressure to it going around the outsides too to make sure that we have a complete seal around it now you notice we have this little hole that's forming here and that's completely okay because we're gonna go now from the bottom side and we're gonna create ourselves a little bubble so we know exactly where the hole is so using our paper towel here from the other side we can go ahead and watch this all happen here so let's lightly press and you can see the little bubble starting to pop up and let's look at the back side here and I like to go around just like the top and make sure that we have a complete seal all around just by dabbing the edges to kind of cave it down to make a complete seal now let's go ahead and look on top and you can see here we have this very very nice bubble that is formed and we know that is where our hole is so we could put our needles through it let this set Dry paper towel is fine, you don't need the wet paper towels anymore. I like to use a dry paper towel. Let these cure for 24 hours. It's very important, let them rest for exactly 24 hours. Uh, otherwise, when you go to heat them up, when you go to pressure cook them, it's just gonna melt back again and you're gonna lose your seal. So 24 hours later, you'll have something just like this. And you notice how spongy this seal actually is you can press down on it it will heal itself back up after you inject it with a needle uh, underneath here whoops I got a little bit of that stuff on the bottom here that's fine you can see just how well it has formed to the bottom here we have a very very nice seal here no doubt it's gonna hold up hey if you guys like this video be sure to like comment and subscribe and until next time keep on growing keep on smoking and I catch you guys in the next episode See you later.